Luke, what do you want for Christmas? Well, Sean, I, I really want health and safety for everyone. I would like to usher in a new era of compassion and understanding around the world. You know, just, we've been so divided lately. What, what do you want? Beer? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, boys. John, can you fucking believe it? Just a guy in a Santa suit. No, it's not. Look how realistic his outfit is. Do you still believe in- I heard someone around here want ask for some beer. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. No. No. No, that's not it. No. Oh. See, Sean? Would a fake Santa bring us beer? This isn't Santa. Josh? From youtube.com slash half ass beer review? The one and only. Josh, how long have you been Santa Claus? Merry Christmas, everyone. I don't know where I want to eat. God damn sure. it. I'm trying to. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. Do you have to bring Jesus into this? Happy times, everyone. <laughs> Today, we have a special episode of On the Table where we're, for the first time, have three people on camera. And we thought we would bring back Josh to try out a new beer. Uh, what do we got today? This is from Stone Brewing Company, uh, Choco Vesa, Tres Leches. Is this cultural appropriation? Uh, Hashtag cancel. Uh, but Stone did sue Keystone, Miller Coors Brewing Company. <laughs> For real? <laughs> because their commercials would go, Keystone. And they're like, that's ripping off Stone Brewing Company. Oh my god! Did they win? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. it, was a, it was a reach. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tres Leches. Yeah, so they have a normal one called Choco Vesa, and it's one of my favorite stouts of like the season. Year after year, I look forward to it, and I always buy it. And then I saw this year, this is the one they came out with. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to try it. Looks really and good. And it's the perfect beer to bring and share yeah. with people. 8.5% ABV. Thank so you. She's a, I, I bring strong ones when I come here. So it's like a, a Mexican-style hot chocolate stout. Okay. Um, is this brewery based in Mexico, or they no, just have No, they're uh, California. Flavor? California, okay. like well, San Diego, close. just outside of San Diego. Oh, that's right on the border. Normally a IPA-based brewery. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of IPAs, a lot of bitter stuff. Like they, they were the kind of brewery that wants to punch you in the mouth with like bitter hops. Yeah. Oh. Like they have like an Arrogant Bastard series as well, you know, like the Gargoyles. You see thing. that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I always find it interesting when like a brewery has like one kind of beer and then they come out with this something totally different. And something it's still that, really they're, good. that they're not good at. Right. And, they're, and it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I do like their like style. Yeah, they all are like a really, really similar. They all have the face, and then they all they all have like art that's Mayan kind of. Mayan art um, influence. I don't know if it's all Mayan, but it's all kind of based around the the, the head and everything. Muy deliciosa. You already spilled on this table. Jesus it's covered in wax. Christ. It's fine. It looks like a soda head. It does. Nice. It looks it's like, like Coke. Like looks like Coke. Yeah. Like that. The yeah. bubbles are huge. Yeah. Stout brewed with chocolate, coffee. Pasilla pepper, pep, peppers? Is that, or is that pasilla peppers? Vanilla, or is that vanilla? Cinnamon, <laughs> not Redeemed. The, uh, the oats will probably give it a really nice um, texture too, nice mouthfeel. I'm getting, I'm getting notes. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting notes of pasilla peppers. Do you smell the peppers? <laughs> I am getting notes of. Yeah, you smell chocolate though, right? You do smell chocolate. Oh, I it's smell a very, <laughs> It's a very. I just smell pasilla peppers and <laughs> vanilla. Ooh, I like that.
like that. Cultural cultural appropriation has never been so delicious. I the, like that. The last stout that you and I had, this is not nearly as right. strong of a flavor. Yeah, and this isn't this as isn't heavy hitting. either. No, you no. know, it's it's good. Mm -hmm. It's I really like subtle. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit spicier. Too but fucking bad. You can get it in. Well, I was thinking the peppers plus the cinnamon was going to be like right. some like Mayan mocha or something. Right. I don't know why I just did this. Do Italians make any beer? Because everything is it all tomato based. Pizza beer. My, yeah. my interaction Pizza with stout. Italian beer is beer you can get at Olive Garden. <laughs> oh. What if they pour the beer and then they bring over the cheese thing and they're like, <laughs> more? It reminds me of like Guinness. <laughs> yeah, Guinness is like more of a like a lighter stout. It's like like thin. people criticize yeah. it. You know, it's not. It's like Bud Light. You know, you, you got to make it as drinkable as possible within the style for everyone. And I've heard that Guinness in Ireland is way different than here. Like, because if you yeah. go to Ireland and have Guinness, you go there and they put a bunch of fucking potatoes and everything. You're Irish. I am Irish. You are a um, wedged potato. Yeah. With the potato famine, did they have only potatoes was the only thing they had to eat or there were no potatoes? And they were like, what do we do? That's what we're known for is potatoes. What if they all died because they got so sick of eating only potatoes? Yeah, they're like, they just I'd rather die. Chose to die. I'd rather die than it was, eat any more starch. It was that. What? I gave you two options and you said no, the it's bit, that. The bit that we just made, it's that. It, that's, too many... that's what they did, yeah. Well, history is written by the victors and... The potatoes um, were the victors in that yes. case. So they, so they were like, <laughs> yeah. dude, there was a lot of potatoes. We've always been available. Do you know potatoes are poisonous? It's a poisonous plant. Yeah. You didn't fucking know that. <laughs> well, you can make a battery so. with it and you can't eat batteries. I mean, what else are, what else are they what known for other than fucking potatoes, stouts, and redheads? Dropkick Murphys. Mm. They're from Boston. Oh. They're not even from Ireland. <laughs> Isn't there one from, uh, is Flagging Molly from Ireland? They're probably from Boston, They're too. They're probably from Boston, too. <laughs> um, let's see. Braveheart? No. Oh, damn it. Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell. Yeah, who's Colin Irish. Firth? Colin Firth is, is definitely he, is British. It, wait, Colin, Damn it! Colin Farrell's really... He's Irish. He's I don't from know okay. I think that's probably who I was trying to say. He's got the... The black hair. He has hair the like other back. people. He yeah. was Grindelwald in the newest Harry Potter offshoot film. Fantastic Grindelwald? Beast. Yeah. He's known for a lot now of other I knew, shit. That, I was, <laughs> that was very low on the total pool of movies I, I could have brought Grindelwald. up. Grindelwald. Phone booth? That whole movie shot at the phone booth. Yeah. It's almost like one That's scene. That's Colin Farrell. Oh my God. Colin How about Farrell. the one where he's buried alive, the whole movie? It's not Colin Farrell. That's buried. But... Yeah, that's a crazy one. That's with Ryan Reynolds. Similar concept. That's Ryan Reynolds? Who'd you think it was? I did I don't remember. Just some, it was It was if white you, guy. If you pitch that to me though, if you pitch that movie to me, I would probably put, I'd probably put Matt Damon under Even there. this day? You'd still put Matt Damon in there? It's not even Matt Damon. Does he have a brother? Casey Affleck. I'd throw Casey <laughs> Affleck in that fucking bitch. Oh, I thought you were saying uh, the fucker Jesse Plemons. He looks just like Matt Damon. He's a very good actor. He looks a little less oh, evolved. Not Todd. He kind of has a... Not uh, fucking... No. He has a kind no, of uh, crow magnet that guy, head. He, that guy is terrifying on that show. I know. No, I'm thinking of... Because um, he's politely killing children. God damn it. I'm thinking of a guy from... Oh no, I'm literally never gonna think of it. He's Kevin, like a, Kevin Spacey? He's like a B movie guy. He also kind of looks like Matt Damon, but different. Oh um, no. I am extremely it. lost because last mm -hmm. I knew you were talking about somebody you want to be, you wanted to be in the movie Barry. Barry. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That isn't Ryan Reynolds. Right. I'm thinking uh, of a guy, another that guy. That looks like Ryan Reynolds or uh, no? No, it looks more like Matt Damon. Speaking of know. actors that look a lot alike, um, there's the, I don't know the, all their names, but like the lead character in Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. And then there's a kid that was also in Chernobyl, the miniseries on HBO, and as well as Miles Teller. There's like four white guys that are all interchangeable. They're all the same human being. Miles mm -hmm. Teller, does he have the weird head too? Was he in Warm Bodies? Who's that guy? Miles Teller was in Whiplash. Oh, with everyone the, looks like with that. With the face, yeah. everyone you know, looks like he's got that. the face. He was yeah, in he's Fantastic like, Four. You've yeah, seen like the superhero movie. episode. I, no, I have a joke for you, gentlemen. The rapper Salento, famous for the hit single Watch Me Whip slash Nay Nay, okay. was arrested on murder charges in early 2021. At the start of the trial recently, Salento entered a plea of 
nay, nay, guilty. To Salento. To Salento. <laughs> I must say, I've never been more proud of a joke. <laughs> and to see neither of you cry of laughter right now. It'd be funny to see this cilan cilantro lettuce yeah. in court saying, um, Are you do nay, you plead nay, guilty? Nay, 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 your honor. Yeah, nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay your honor. And then the jury is like, ah, and they fucking, uh, you right. got acquitted. He got Yo. acquitted and yeah. he got away with murder. Because it was really funny. So how do you feel about this beer, gentlemen? I like it a I lot. I like it a lot, yeah. With all this stuff going on, I kind of want it to be like a big, thick, bad boy stout, but um, I'm still getting everything. I, I could, it. well, the, the, the thing that's nice is you could drink a couple of these. Yeah. I, I it's a little more creamier than the original. Hence the okay. Trace, Trace Leches. Leches. Yeah. yeah. And what's the original called? Just Choco Vesa? Mm -hmm. Okay. Age at <laughs> cellar temperature. So that means you could age this like a wine? Almost any dark beer you can age. Would it really affect the taste? Some say it does. Others say it's just not worth Stupid. it. Stupid. There's like barrel aged beers and you can age them even longer. That's what I was going to say. You can, and well, that's nice. If you age a barrel aged beer, that sharp booziness will mm. slowly go away. It's like refried beans. Yeah, well, first of all, what would you rate this beer on your scale of one to six? Uh, it's a high five. Is it? I, I, I love this beer. Like, really? I, I love the original, and I think this is even... I don't think it's an improvement. I'd say it's right up there with it. I think they took something and ma like they made an alternate of it and made it just as good as the original. Okay, okay. That's all you can hope for. Yeah. It's a sequel. Yeah. Did, have, did you review the original one on your show ever? I don't or think no? I have. Okay. No. But you would rate that one a high five as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two well, this Latin one being... American inspired treats meet in this silky smooth, luscious creation. Stone Zyko Vesa started out as a coffee and spice laced. Ooh, little hashtag me too, Bill Cosby oh, deal. On. Spice laced. Did Bill Cosby make this? Tribute to Oaxan Hot Cho. Oaxan? Oxen? Oxen. Two different inspirations plus three leches a tr equals a treat for all five senses. Oh, two plus three. I... Oh, and then it says that. This two plus three is a one. <laughs> yeah, they play on it. They. Am I supposed <laughs> to? We get the two yeah. plus three. Yeah. But no, the thing is, is all right, it's a treat for all five senses. Touching this beer would do nothing for me, and putting an eyedropper in would be fucking useless. I'm enjoying this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's sorry. burning the fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna burn the goddamn house down.